Laura Aguinaga, Dreammaker Talent. When we were younger, American Girl used to be about history, adventure, real problems like the Revolutionary War and settling the homestead. Samantha freaking rescued children factory workers. Okay, well, what's her point? Well, I think it's time that we take American Girl and bring it back to that. Back to the terrifying night terrors? Exactly. Presenting my idea for the next 2016 doll of the year. Maud, the plague doll. What? She's young, she's sassy, and she's the only one in her family to survive the plague when it ravaged her village. Are you kidding me right now? Accessories include a bag of leeches, a pile of rags, and Suzu, her pet rat. Okay, there are so many things wrong with this, but just the start. Didn't, didn't rats just spread the plague around? Yeah, bring Maud home for Christmas and find out. All right, I can't believe I'm saying these words out loud today, but I don't think a plague doll is the way to go. Oh, okay, great. I hear what you're saying, but what about this one? This is Christy. Great. Cute. And she leads the children's crusade. Are you fucking kidding me? Stay with me. Girls can do anything, right? Right. Like lead 30,000 children into the Mediterranean Sea to violently convert Muslims into Christianity. Will she be sold as a slave? Or will she die during the treacherous journey? Buy Christy and find out. Okay, well, obviously we're not going to sell a children's crusade doll during the most joyous time of year. I don't see why not. It's a story of inspiration and hope. It's a story of death. Okay, I see what you're saying. But dark, death can be a little bit dark. But do you know what's brighter? Everything? Famine. Well. Meet Mary Catherine. What? The Irish Potato Famine Doll. Oh my god. American Girl has gone global. Another bonus. Uh, okay. Now you're just wasting my time. We've done the history thing. Kids just don't care anymore. They don't want to read about historic acts of bravery. They want to read about little girls whose biggest problem is deciding between the swim team and the volleyball team. Or figuring out what dress to wear to homecoming. History is out. But it shouldn't be. Maybe it's our job to bring history back. Maybe it's our job to make it come to life and to teach girls everywhere of the strong women of the past. No! No, it's our job to sell $200 dolls to frantic moms on Michigan Avenue. 